So we've talked about the children and they're um, adjusting really well. How are you doing? Uh, I think this second time around, uh, I'm doing amazingly. I think, um, yeah, I don't think anyone could explain to me, honestly, how I would feel uh, coming here and what I would feel, but, and I don't, I'm not going to start crying because I'm not that person. I will start crying. Uh <laughs> it's okay, because I'm that person. Like I'm a big bag of water. You see, I was about to cry reading your poem. So I was I was fighting it back. <laughs> I am that person. No, uh no one could explain to me really um the lies, cultural lies that I've been that have been ingrained in me to yeah. believe that um uh, where where I was and what I was doing was was it was uh, the destiny um, and to be here I have been awakened I really have been awakened go sit on the pot um, go sit on the pot I've been awakened to uh, like the possibilities of life. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I am very, I, I can negotiate the American environment easily. I'm pretty successful at it. Um, but the pain and the damage that it did, it does oh. while negotiating it, right? I don't feel that here. And I feel a healing here that happens, um, you know, that where you can let go of so much pain and so much fear and you can just exist like we in the states we are often worried about surviving versus living right and we're so afraid of so many things got to teach your kids about the police why should we have to teach our kids about the police, surviving the police? You got to teach your kids about racism and schools and how to survive. Well, I don't have to teach them that here. You know, like the shit that I had to learn, I don't have to teach my kids that. Yeah. And to have that lifted off of my spirit, off of my soul, it leaves time to, for me to understand my own le own world, right? Oh, yeah. To understand my own self, oh, yeah. to, to put it to my children more of my happiness oh. and more, yes. you know? Yes. So yeah, no one could have ever told me that that was possible. No one, so yeah. Yeah, you know, know. Um, hearing you say that, um, it really validates a lot of things and feelings that I have. Um, it's hard being here, especially after you've lived there for a while and then you have to come back. Like you're, if you're forced to come back here, it makes it so much more difficult being here. Um, yeah. Cause I know that it's the, the, the heaviness and the stress of this place, it just makes it it makes it difficult to be the best mom that I can be. I can't be the best wife that I can be. Like, it just makes it difficult to be the best me that I can be. And, you know, I'm so happy for you that you're getting to experience life in a new way, you know, and not feeling that constant state of anger and rage is the only way that I can explain it because as James Baldwin said to be black and relatively conscious in this country is to be in a constant state of rage and that's not living that that you can't you can't possibly be the best you that you can be for you and for your family, if that is the way that we are um, having to exist. Exist yeah. literally, literally in survival mode all the time. All the time. And then you get to Ghana and it's just like this 
big, deep sigh of relief. So relieving. You know? Um, yeah. And hearing you talk. For more on this video, please click the link in the description below. Thank you.